Hi and welcome back to the Open Plotter Guide. GPS is the first of several global navigation satellite systems that sends location signals to receiver devices on Earth. An easy way to connect a GPS device to Open Plotter is with a USB dongle. Some devices support multiple navigation systems like GPS, GLONASS, Galileo and Bidu. You can find cheap USB dongles supporting one or more systems, costing less than 10 euro. The ones with a wire can help better position the receiver antenna. Make sure you place the receivers away from metal objects as they may interfere with the signal. To configure the GPS, we need to go to Serial. This tool will allow us to link the signals to the software. Connect the GPS USB dongle to one of the available USB slots on the Raspberry Pi, and then select Refresh. You'll now see the new device. Then enter the alias in lowercase of at least four characters. Then select NMEA0183 for data, and press apply. The green color means the signal is NMEA0183. A blue signal indicates NMEA2000. Yellow stands for signal K. A red background means the device is missing or unplugged. Then, in the connections tab, you need to add the device to GPSD. Now select auto. You won't see the device yet in OpenCPN. So let's reboot and then the settings are loaded. Open Serial again and go to the Connections tab. You'll see it still doesn't work. So we need to add the signal to Signal K. Let's remove the GPSD and add the signal to Signal K. The Signal K server will restart automatically. To test the GPS hardware, we'll run OpenCPN. We now see it's working, as there are three bars indicating the signal quality. Make sure your receiver is placed outside or next to a window. Also check that you've configured OpenCPN to connect to the correct signal at port 10110 of your device. This should be the default setting. Once we've done that, we can also see the red boat icon to know our location on the map. If you're not sure what device is the correct one, you can use the command lsusb in the terminal to look for the vendor and product ID. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe.